Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me and asked me how they could make this shape with the, they know about the ellipse tool and they know about the pie. And if you hold down your control button, you get a perfect, and if you actually go up, it would be better. I'm going to hit P, put it at the center of the page. That doesn't have anything to do with it. Click on it, double click on it, and rotate it. And now we're going to rotate it 360 minus 45 degrees and there you go and what I did I just rotated it to so it would be perpendicular in the way they wanted it I just let Corel do the math instead of typing in 315 let's just go back type in 315 but if you're doing a weird angle sometimes it's easier to let Corel do the math now there's another way to do that and I would have probably done that with probably without looking at the ellipse tool. And whenever you have that, before you click, you need to click on your ellipse tool. I'm going to hit P and put it at the center of the page this time for sure. Get your two-point line and start on that center node and hold down the control button and, and go up. Double click on this line and move it down to the center. Then rotate this 45 degrees. Now you could do the same thing with the math, but instead of make a duplicate of that and mirror it the other way, grab that when you have a four-pointed X and it'll snap to that node. Now with this case, you need to use the Smart Fill tool to fill in that shape, but then you can left click, right click, and you get that degree. And I see exactly what they're talking about because there's a lot of times you know, you can't get Corel to draw that pie shape standing up like that. And you could also do a lot with this. Uh, you know, let's mirror it this way. And you could come out with some neat effects. And um, let's just do something real quick. Even the, Well, I'll tell you what. Let's back up here. Let's use the same size. And I do this with a lot of videos. I, I hope I don't mess up here and think I can't do this. Make a duplicate of this thing. I'll tell you what, even start off better than that. Let's delete that. Let's control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the control button and making that duplicate. Grabbing this one again and control D and make a duplicate. But this time we're going to mirror it, flip it this way. And then you can take that node and if you got it snapped to. And let's try the weld key. Select everything. And yes, there's a pretty neat shape that you couldn't probably draw else any other way. I don't know what you would do that, but you could continue that pattern for a long time. You know, you could grab this one and put it here. Control D. Well, let's just do that. Control D, but take this one and mirror it. Mirror it vertically. And then take that node and put it right there. Have it snap to it. And you can keep going. And voila. I didn't have that one perfect, but you can always use the virtual segment delete key. To delete these lines. And whenever you do that, then you definitely need to use a smart fill tool to fill it in. Because that kind of welds it. That's a pretty neat shape. Anyway. I hope that helped a little bit and hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.